our friends here are going to draw a can of beans. Yeah, we're going to draw a funny can of beans. We hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. We, we need our markers. And we also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, we're going to use markers to draw with, but you can use whatever you have at home, like a pencil. Yeah. And, and you don't need a can of beans. <laughs> we're just going to talk about it. Yeah. We're going to draw a three-dimensional object like this can on our paper, but it's flat, which is 2D. But we're going to try to make it look 3D, like it's popping out of our paper. So what's the top shape? A circle. Yeah, this is a circle. It's flat. But because when you turn it like this, look, the circle kind of squishes like an oval. But then we have the top or the how tall it is, and that turns it into a cylinder. So you can remember that a can of beans is what form? A cylinder. Yeah, a cylinder. All right, let's draw a cylinder. Yes. The first thing we're going to do is draw the top circle, but we're going to draw it squished or foreshortened. That's another word for it. We're going to draw a big foreshortened oval or a circle up here at the top. A squished circle like this turns into an oval, makes it look 3D like it's tipped. Now we're going to draw the sides of our can. We're going to draw vertical lines coming all the way down. Well, not all the way to the bottom of our paper, but really far down our paper. So that's the side of our can coming down. Then we're going to match, look at this. So the top of the can, see how it's curved, like our oval right here. We're going to match that same curve down here at the bottom and connect the sides of our can. So let's do that down here. We're going to match this curve. Oh, you need to draw your other oh, side. I forgot about that. <laughs> Two sides to our can. Now we're going to match that curve right here. We're going to draw it at the bottom and connect those two sides together. See how that looks three-dimensional. It looks like our can. Yeah. That's good. I like it. You connected the bottom. See how straight it is? Yeah. The next time we draw our can, you could draw it a little more curved. Oh, look at that. You did match the top right here. So the next time, maybe when we practice drawing the curve, we could draw it a little more round. Yeah. But that's okay that our two drawings look different, right? Yeah. And it's okay if our art friend's drawings look a little different, too. Because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. All right, you ready to draw the next part? Yes. Going to draw a little curve right here. We're going to draw our bean shape. There we go. Good job. Then we're going to draw a curve that comes around like this. Oh, we're just going to draw one big giant bean on our can. <laughs> it looks like a jelly bean. Oh, I love the shape. Keep going. And then a big curve down at the bottom. Yes, you did it. That is my favorite <laughs> shape <laughs> is a bean shape. <laughs> and now to really turn it into a bean, we could add a little curve right here. That's a little white spot on our bean. Okay, and then let's also write the word beans on top of our can. We're going to draw the letter B. So we can put it over here on the left. Yeah. And then we're going to draw the letter E. I'm going to leave a little space and put an E. I love drawing can of beans. <laughs> This could be my new favorite lesson. I, I love beans, and I love drawing beans. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to draw the letter A, then we're going to draw the letter N, and then it just says bean. bean. Well, yeah, but we can make it so there's lots of beans. Put an <laughs> S at the end. <laughs> Beans. beans. Yeah, we did it. Oh, we should add one more funny thing to our bean. A funny face. Beans. <laughs> yeah, let's add a funny face. All right, let's draw. I'm going to draw um, a circle, our usual funny face. I'm going to add two circles. <laughs> and we can draw the highlight in the eye, a little circle, and then color in the big circle. We don't we need a mouth. Yeah. <laughs> We don't, the, yeah, we, oh, that could be the, the little, <laughs> yeah, that could be the little mouth. Now, you guys at home can pause the video and take time to add your own funny face. I, this one's going to be a yelling bean on it. <laughs> I'm going to add more, <laughs> a big C, and then maybe teeth, and then a tongue. <laughs> you guys don't have to draw a funny face if you don't want to, and you could change your funny face. It could be, <laughs> it could just be a smile like that. 
Uh, are you adding a mustache? <laughs> <laughs> of course. We gotta add a mustache. So we did it. We finished drawing our can of beans, except we still need to do one more thing. Color it! Yeah, we need to color it. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! Decided to stop fast forwarding the lesson, this part, the coloring part, so that we could talk about what we're doing. We designed our own label for our beans. Yeah. And we added an explosion because our, our beans are super beans, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we're using blue for the outside and yellow for the explosion. But you guys could design your labels any way you want. You could add extra details and you could change the colors. I have a little white stripe down here at the bottom. Maybe I'll color around the letters just like you. Oh, I like that. That looks really <laughs> cool, Austin. Thank you. We're using our biannual markers to color with, but you could use whatever you have at home. I'm using CG03 for the can color, and then B205 for the blue, and the yellow is Y107, and then pink, I was gonna use R605 for the tongue. Look at that. That is a bright pink. <laughs> and oh. then, <laughs> And then our brown color that we use for the bean is Y529. I love this brown. In fact, we use this brown a lot, don't we, Alice? Yeah. So I'm going to color around just like you because I thought that looked really cool. I, I outlined my letters too, but uh, you don't have to outline them. You could design your can of beans any way you want. Well, this looks really cool. <laughs> You could also, there's all different kinds of beans too. There's brown beans or pinto beans. There's black beans. There's white beans. There's all brown the, beans? There's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brown beans. That's what we're, we're coloring. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more blue, I think, around all of my letters. I also added this highlight to make my bean look shiny. That's this little white spot right here on top of the bean. You guys could do that also. I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna use my white colored pencil. This is a Prisma colored pencil and add a little more highlight on top of the bean, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Allison, your can is looking really cool. Let's speed up the video again and we'll finish our coloring. Yeah. So we did it, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your can of beans or cylinder. Did you have fun? Yeah. It was a lot of fun designing our label. I hope our art friends will take time to add different details to their drawings also. Yeah, you could add more explosions. <laughs> you could add a lot of explosions. You could even draw the top of the can exploding off the top. Because there's too much beans. <laughs> We hope you had fun drawing your can of beans. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you remember the shape of a can is what? A cylinder. A cylinder, or the form. Yeah. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.